Hey there folks, Lenny Rudo here for Boat US. We're out here on a gorgeous day and I'm looking around and I see buoys everywhere. And what do all these different buoys mean? The different shapes, sizes, and colors. Maybe once upon a time you knew, maybe you just don't know. Let's go through a little refresher on what all those buoys mean. First off, let's point out that there are a million and one different buoys out there. All kinds of buoys marking things like underwater cables, shoals, wrecks, speed limits. I mean, you name it, there's a buoy for it. Obviously, we're not going to get through all of those today. We're just going to cover the basics that you're most likely to see on a common basis. There are even special buoys for different waterways, the inland waterways, the Mississippi. They have their own buoys there. The intercoastal has its own buoys. You need to study up on these if you're going to visit these areas. You can do so at uscgboating.org. Just look for the PDF that shows you all the different buoys, all the different types, shapes, and sizes. First, let's talk a little bit about those markers. They're also called fixed markers or beacons. The reds are triangular and have even numbers on them. The greens are square and have odd numbers on them. Now these mark channels, and you may have heard the old saying, red right returning. That's because whenever you're headed inland, you wanna keep the red off the starboard side of the boat and the green off the port side, thus red right returning. You might notice folks, this one has a light on top. Some of these fixed markers are lighted, but some are not. Generally speaking, buoys are used where it's too deep to put a fixed marker or where channels shift. Channels do shift and change. And in that case, you need something that's floating that you can move. Now, in the big deep chip shipping channels, you'll see very large buoys. Inside on smaller channels, you'll see smaller buoys. The small cylindrical green ones are called cans. Red ones come to a point at the top. Those are called nun buoys. Okay, now you wanna hear something really funny, people? Sometimes you're gonna see buoys with both colors. Now, if you see red and green horizontal bands, that means you're at the junction of two channels. If you see red and green vertical bands, that means there's navigable water on all sides. Another one you'll see out there are yellow buoys. Now, yellow buoys fall into that category we were talking about earlier. They can indicate all kinds of stuff. To figure out what a yellow buoy is, you really need to refer to your chart. One you definitely want to keep your eyes peeled for is black and white stripes. When you see a buoy with black and white stripes, that means there's an obstruction running from that buoy in towards shore. So make sure you go all the way around it. Now what's this plain old white buoy with blue lettering on it? That's a mooring buoy. You don't have to worry about those, but whenever you see a mooring buoy, you should be aware that you're probably in a slow speed zone. Often they'll be white with a blue stripe around them too. What about these white cylindrical guys with the orange bands? You're gonna see a lot of those. They indicate many different things, often slow speed zones or speed limits. And when you get up close to them, you can read what they say. They're always marked as to just what they indicate. This one says, caution, you're always responsible for your wake because we're in an enclosed creek with a lot of marinas around it. Whew, okay, we made it through the basics, but truth be told, folks, hey, it can be confusing out there. There's a lot to gaining a full comprehension on what all those different nav aids are. So don't forget, go to the Coast Guard's website, look for the U.S. Aids to Navigation PDF. It's a great explanation, and they made it just for you. So check it out. Well, I hope you found this video helpful, and uh, don't forget to click on that subscribe button so you don't miss our future Boat U.S. videos.